Seriously. Texting, texting, James texting, Harden's texting. Phone. We're going to skip it all the way to the 865. We're going right to 911. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. All things. This is segment one, by the way. Welcome back to IDD. For those of you in the know, I don't disagree. Segment one. That is the redoubtable one, the highly questionable one. And the fixture, or should I call it the fire? Because tonight this man... This man's got to let it out. He's, He's got out. the fire. He's got the fire. The fixture's got the fire. That is Joe Russell. I don't know if his name's going to be Joe Russell. At the end of it, it might be something else. It might be homicidal maniac Joe Russell. But who the hell knows, America? The bottom Joe line Ross is Al-Ghul. Joe Ross Al Ghul might make an appearance tonight. He just might. All things fuck the process. That's right. F U C K P R O C E S S Philadelphia. Fuck it. It's over. It's done. <laughs> okay? You've got to be shitting me. Man, I've never seen this man this hostile, and we weren't even on the air yet. So I'm just going to do what? A good, a try and be a good friend. I'm just going to push back. And I'm going to ask Joel one question. Mm-hmm. Joel, dear friend, um, it's been a tough day. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to say one thing. I would like, I think America would like your take on James Harden's comments and Mr. Morey's actions here today. So, Joel. I want to be calm. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> but what I want to say is, fuck James Harden. Fuck Daryl Morey. Fuck Joel Embiid. The only one we need to keep is Maxie. And the, what, the problem is, is Harden has been like a fucking disease that has, everything he has touched, he has infected. And now he's affected, well, the process was a fucking disease. So, like, one disease affected another disease. So now you have the you have, Harden Or is disease. James Harden a symptom? No, no, no. James Harden was, was well advanced in whatever the fuck the mm. James Harden disease is. Like, it's been in three places. It's, it's well documented. You can't get away from it, and it's not fucking curable. Mm. You have to kill it. And what we need to do is kill it. Get the fuck out. Go wherever. I don't give a fuck where you go. Just go there. Stay mm. there. Be there. Don't come back. Don't talk. Let it be like a fucking soundproof bunker in Siberia, you piece of shit. I don't care. You don't think he's going to talk when Fuck he him. Leaves? Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck him. Okay. So, I think what I'm trying to say is that <laughs> if they could trade James Harden to whatever that fucking Latvian team was that the mellow, the ball, ball kids played on, like, send that guy to there. Like, send him to some cold-ass place close to Russia where nobody gives a fuck he exists. Ladies and gentlemen, a world record has just been set. Huh. In yeah. Under, in, fuck? In under two minutes, <laughs> this man just said fuck 15 times. Wow. Did you count him? I did. I was what? doing it on the screen <laughs> as he was going. So, I don't, don't listen to it. Don't listen to the fuck part. Listen 16. to the part. <laughs> listen to the part 17. about... Go somewhere else, disappear. I fucking hate you without 18. the fucking part. <laughs> yeah, fun. just do that. I, I would, literally, I would anywhere he wanted to go, I would try to find a way to get rid of him. And I was asking you guys, like off air, would like here take Embiid, take Harden, we'll take Gobert and Edwards. Let's move on. You need draft picks because James Harden's a giant piece of shit. Okay. You're afraid that he might infect your already infected city that's never won shit, Minnesota? Okay, here's two draft picks. Whatever. Get the fuck out, Harden. 19. Get out. Oh, I didn't want to get to 20. No, I'm saving that. Said, okay. I'm saving that. It could be two missed extra James points. Smart. That's, it could be two missed extra points. He's almost a three touchdown. Saving that <laughs> Saving last, that for yes. later. Saving yeah. number 20 yeah. for the real sweet spot. The real sweet spot. We're not double, okay. That's we'll a linguist. I, I, you I had what? to change what I said earlier. Linguistic. James Harden isn't just like a pimple, a herpes pimple <laughs> on fucking Philly's <laughs> ass. James Harden <laughs> is starting to infect. He's like a herpes pimple on the entire earth. <laughs> he made his announcement from China. The James Harden herpes is now in China, and it's, I don't even know the, if the Chinese would want him. <laughs> He's so bad. No, they find how to make money. Out of they, dude, yeah, dude, China on. loves NBA superstars. Yeah, yeah. he's a he's a he's a he's a, he's a yeah. different. Yeah, he's. I'm telling you, 
you know, we, we yeah, talked to... Yeah, see, he's killing Maury, who was one of the guys who came out and said something against Maury's China. Maury's part of the so, problem. Yeah. So China is enjoying what he's saying. Maury's part of the problem. Take... Yeah. Okay. You can output Maury in the trade, too. Nothing, you can have him, There's nothing too. to get back. Remember when <laughs> Maury, a few years ago, made some comments about, like, how we're in bed with China and that's yeah. not a good look or whatever? Well, sure, it was right. He was right. Right. He said but, something true. But yeah. because that, it's easy for James Harden to go to China and say all this shit. Well, because they care. hate Maury too. Yeah. Stay. Why did he go to China? And Just say stay. It? Why did he go back. to China and say it? Trade him to the Chinese so, league. Let him play there. He's got such a problem with this guy that he had to go halfway across the world to say something about it. What the fuck? That would cause two to problem. He was just being. That's he's, weird. That's as fuck. part of the hardened herpes. <laughs> That is, it starts so to it's spread. Like it's it affects a, it's everything. It's an unexpected Actually, outbreak. It's like, no, yeah, it's more like syphilis because in the end it kills you, right? It's an makes unexpected you, outbreak. Makes your fucking face. Like, it's syphilis. It's a hardened syphilis. Whatever. It's like a disease that spreads. It could be hardened COVID. I don't care. But he's a disease. He spreads. Other people get it. Ugh. And <laughs> and now it has infected Joel and B. Yeah. Who, and by the way, you don't hyphenate four fucking letters. It's Joel. That's my name. And his name is not Joe L. Who the fuck hyphenates four <laughs> letters? <laughs> it's a name, though. Two syllables. Joe L. Hyphenated. But do you know yours God. is first? Is Joe? Is I don't Joe, give a fuck who's is first. Is Joe without the it. hyphen? It, it could be. Is a, that the original? See, he always be, asks a question like but this. I'm just wondering: <laughs> is Joe without the hyphen the the, the first, or is Joe what with the hyphen? It Joel. could be a fucking caveman that invented it, and I would be like, "What the fuck are you doing? You don't." Hyphenate four letters, mm. you arrogant ass. Get well, out. He is an arrogant ass too. That's the thing. They kind of deserve each other. Um, look, I, for once, America's not going to believe this, but I actually feel sorry for him. Um, it's bullshit. Because nobody deserves this. <laughs> it's, I'm shocked at the I, nobody at deserves the, this. The vigor with which this I'm hostility not. has. A, a I'm just, not because you know when I saw that I'm, today on ESPN, I was I almost saw the mushroom cloud wherever he was. I saw something in the sky. I'm like, that's got to be Joel losing his shit. But no, because that was bad. That they're going to get rid look. of him. I think you want him out anyway, right? Yeah. I know, but now they're going to yeah. have to give but, him away. Yeah, well, they're going to get nothing was, for him. They weren't going to have to. What were they going to get for him going into? I don't, they're going to get nothing. Now, they whatever are, they might have got, they ain't getting now. They're because gonna have to scrape that pimple off. Their yeah, ass and they're gonna have to. The they're gonna have to give the team draft picks. No, no, here's the thing. On top if of it, they didn't. If if this didn't happen, like a and wart. Harden had kept his mouth shut, he just would have come to camp overweight. Season would have started. He wouldn't have played. And he'd make the same move the way he did out of Houston. He's still going to come overweight. If he what wanted that about? max win, hold on a second. If he, he might wanted be too old to do no, that. You're the max that, contract extension, which whatever he claims his whole thing is about in the first place. He's not fucking Why would he come into camp out of shape? He's not worth no, anything. He didn't get the max contract. I know. That's but, why. Yeah, but if he comes in, but they, but they were saying, or if he comes into camp, then we're going to fix it. We're then that's the, the deal. That's that's the, no, no, and then no, we're going to figure it out. No, that's not what happened. No, he didn't get it because of Game 7, and then he demanded a trade. They said they would explore trade partners, and everybody knew they had him over a barrel. So, of course, they asked for this, and no one's like, no, we're not giving you that. But wait, like, no let's, one. They on, went to I'm the Clippers, saying, and nobody... Regardless of whether or not this had happened, regardless of whether or not this had happened, Harden was pissed off. So if he had kept Fuck his Harden. mouth shut, Fuck if he had Harden. kept his mouth shut and not said anything, he would have come mm. to camp not getting mm. the deal he wanted... He wouldn't have played well. He would have forced himself out. You still would have got pennies. For we got one year left of you this still fucking got disease. For All I want yeah, this, just, get, this just speeds not, up the trade. No, I think but it's if, better. He's but not getting if, pennies. I think it's better. He wasn't but getting get it out. anyways. The only but thing like, if he wanted get, a long-term deal, then prove it. That's what they do. You know what will happen? They'll, the only thing they'll get is the return money on contracts that match, and those, those players will be uh, the choice of the team they're sending them to. They won't get to choose them. The opponent will choose them. He actually is an expiring because, contract, right? because, well, this is the thing. If it, the giant, I, I can't contract. see this getting to the trade deadline. No, this, no, this can't. You know, they he, can't go halfway through the season like this. In the they'll, next couple of weeks, he's going to be gone. He's going to be gone before. Yeah, he's right? going to be gone before. I just pay him to stay at home. Yeah, he'll be gone. Just stay at home and eat. He'll be gone. I think. I think they'll they'll move him for something. They'll be able to get something. What do they get? What, what they are getting? they getting? Who would want him? It, but now Embiid's talking about he wants out. Well, that's fucked. That's the other thing. He wants out. See, he's infected. He was infected. He's not infected by Harden. He's infected by the process. He's a, uh, Joel Embiid is, strong, a Joel Embiid is stronger than being it, infected by James him, Harden. Then go. He's infected <laughs> go. by being in that process forever and them never being able to figure never out getting anything a whiff beyond of, him. Finals. Beyond him, they yeah. just couldn't get it. 
Yeah. No, they never got it right. He was the he was I he mean, was the best one they got. Sure. The only real real one. But it, they got. no, I think Maxie's good. But that's now. That's yeah, not that's, part of the process. Well, yeah, no, but he was drafted. He was talking about, but, but he's the, talking about Nerlens Noel. Right. All Okafor, these years, they just whiffed and whiffed and whiffed. S- Simmons. Right. Yeah. You know, dealing with Simmons now, hard, and it's like this is. That's what's in fact. I don't Charlie think Brown the fact that they started off with three centers in a row or whatever. They exactly. Drafted yeah. Them. It just. I think. I think Although Joel at the Embi- time, though, when they made those picks, most people thought they were good picks. For most whatever people, reason, yeah. none of them panned. For whatever out. reason, they, they which is crazy, them. right? They're, they're and, almost, and I think that just Markel repeatedly, Fultz, not him. We don't no, want Jason. Him. We don't want Jason Tatum. We'll yeah, take yeah. Markel Fultz. That's the that might have been the worst. That's for the win. Everybody knew that one was bad. That's for the win. Right. Thanks, guys. Including me. Great so, job. So Great that's job. why. That's why I feel you for the most part on Harden. Fucking Obviously, assholes. I don't have anger towards Harden, but I I see where you're coming from. But with Embiid, I think it's it's the process that got to him. After, I don't you, care. You, get, get, get get I don't think he's a bad guy. Out. I think he's a guy you can build around. Sure, but he else. might need go to away. go. He might need go to go. Away. And that's good for him. Good if for he's us, over whatever. the process. They'll get something for him. And, yeah, of course they will. Yeah. Like he's a, the he's Knicks. A, yeah. He's yeah. a second. The Knicks. Best the Knicks would make that trade. I think a lot of teams would. would I don't know if him. they'd want to trade him to the Knicks. Though. I think no, but I think that's the thing that he'll go west. What are they getting back? It'll be Western Conference. I think if it's Knicks, him, the Knicks would give up R.J. Barrett. The Knicks would give up. I know. I'm not saying he's great. What do you want? They, I mean, they I would probably that. give up four no. picks. You don't want them going no. to New York. You want them going out west. They'd probably give, give and up there are teams picks. out west that would give up give a farm for them. There are. Starting with, you want draft picks? Danny Ainge. Danny Ainge would give you seven <laughs> fucking picks for this guy. I'll right? take yeah, seven he picks. He would. For, and he whatever he that would. goofy white boy's yeah. name, that fucking uh, Mark marking in, or just give me whatever. I don't care. Uh, give me the goofiest fucking oh, He was good this year, wasn't he? Yeah, he was good. But I'm just saying, give me the goofiest I fucking player you have. Ainge, Oklahoma Keep it rolling. There's teams that would definitely cash in the farm for him. Right. Oklahoma City, so, great. Oh, give, give me the pick. They even have players yeah, that I yeah. like. I mean, Who's Memphis have at, at the big man? Uh, they don't have anything at the big man. Is it the white guy? I might. The, the guy, the... Adams. I thought it was, um, yes, what's his name? Adams. Adams. Yeah, the one that looks like oh, Aquaman. Wasn't he in, uh, yeah, it was Adams, yeah. He was, he was in, he was he was in OKC? Oklahoma City back yeah. in the day, yeah. but now he's in Minnesota with... I thought it was, I mean, what's his name's brother? Gasol's brother. Oh, no. Marcus Gasol. He, he was on the Grizzlies when he, this guy, him? when Adams was on uh, Paul OKC. Gasol was on the Grizzlies. He started on the Grizzlies. No, Mark. Mark. Powell. No, Powell was a Grizzly. Mark. Mark was a Raptor. Paul just went into the Powell was NBA a Hall of Fame. Fame. He's a, yeah, he was traded, traded from Memphis. Memphis. Mm. Mark Memphis. Gasol was on Memphis, wasn't he? Or was he OKC? I think I just remember Marcus Gasol in Toronto, but I know yeah. he started somewhere else. But he was a good center when he, when like he Zach was. Randolph was there. Yeah, no, he was good. You remember Marcus Gasol put up were, good numbers, pretty much his whole career. Yeah, well, you're they, thinking of good. yeah, that's he was as good as his brother. Obviously, but, shit. Yeah, yeah but he was good. Team. That wasn't right. Powell. That was Mark. Right? No, but Powell was also on. The I mean, business. before before that, before the trade, okay, to yeah. partner I mean, with Kobe. Yeah, they. I mean, look, the reality is this: the. So this this thing in Philly just imploded like a fucking. Yeah. I mean, this it's is, over. Just this is yeah. The fallout from this is going to be ugly. Scrape it clean. And, keep Maxi. Um, move on. I don't think he's the only fan that feels like this. By the way, because I saw some shit today on Twitter and stuff, and there were people that were mad at Embiid too. They weren't just mad at Hard. Harden was the easy one, but there were people that were mad at Embiid for that bullshit. That was. Well, I'm mad at Daryl yeah. Morey. Morey is on the. And look at all of them. They're mad at all of them. They want them all gone. Why are you mad at Morey? Because he brought the whole fucking disease. He did. He created the disease and he then he brought it with him. Yeah, I mean, he, he's the guy who enabled Harden to be. He was who he, there in Houston. He, right? In Houston, yeah. yeah. He let Harden do whatever he wanted. See, that's um, why I was confused when I first saw the comments because I was like, is he talking about his GM in Houston? Forgetting that Maury went from oh, Houston no, to yeah, Philly, no, you know? Yeah. And I was like, and then I was like, oh, shit. It doesn't that's even matter. I mean, I mean, think about this. So think about this. So think about James Harden. Never won a championship. He has one MVP. He's won a scoring title. He's done individually. He's done things, but as a team, in, in the, his teams have never. But think, what state did he leave Houston in? Disarray. Oh, it's like a hot fucking dumpster fire. Yeah. yeah I don't bad. blame him for Brooklyn though. I blame Brooklyn. I blame. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. Number two, right? That's number two. Yeah, that's, no, that wait. Where do you go first? And Simmons. 
Ben Simmons so, too. So okay. He dealt well, Ben Simmons was uh, in um, Philly. Oh, he got traded. Yeah, for yeah Simmons. he got traded That's for right. Simmons. That's but right. what I'm saying is, Harden, OKC, Houston, yeah. everywhere he's left. Everywhere he's been. It's OKC been, had a run, so you can't count that. But it had nothing. No, to but do they, that, was was Durant, that was Durant. That was early in his career. That was Westbrook and Durant. That was Westbrook he and was Durant. Was a great three though. They should have kept those three together. They just. Oh. He was a great three. I can't believe you got that early and you just let it fall apart. I would have kept those three because they were young and they, they, well, they acted like they couldn't pay hard. But but how? Can, listen, how can, you, how can you? How can you? How can you? These guys have money. They, but how can you? It's not about money. Yeah. It's, it's about not about money. All that no, no. If if oh, if well, you live, luxury tax. It was if there, you then. live in Oklahoma, okay. I'm going to give you the choice right now, Tommy. I'm going to pay you a hundred million dollars, and you can live here in Oklahoma City. Tommy, I'm going to pay you a hundred million dollars. You can live here in L.A. You can live here in Miami. What do you do? They're both a hundred million dollars. You don't give a fuck. Who lives well, in Oklahoma City? If I'm living in Miami, I need it to be slightly higher. You know, just cost of living. Uh, no tax. Adjusted for cost of living. I'm, I'm whatever. kidding. Come it's hundred million dollars. I was kidding. kidding. And no taxes. I was kidding. You yes, I choose it. Miami in yeah. a heartbeat. You yeah. all, you all of it. Yeah. So that's that's the problem that's, with California. That's, that's, but that's I what, love to live in. What Miami. small market team can you name that has brought in a star to their small market in the NBA? Brought in. I mean, Cleveland is the only one. Cleveland's the only and that's one. only because he's he went, not he had the, yeah, right. He's already there. Yeah, he, he had the original signed. tie to yeah, it. That's where he's there, from. Yeah. He was doing what he wanted. He, he was already signed. He was. I mean, signed Duncan in Utah. was drafted by San Antonio. So was Robinson. They stayed. There. Yeah. So that's they were different. already there. That's different. Um, name, name, name a small market team. This is tough. That tough. can sign a guy. It's that has, has signed a guy or can keep a guy. Like well, my right, guy, give Chris me one or the other. Don't give me. Well, no, no, I'm saying... Well, I, Vince Carter didn't stay in Toronto either. He, right. He got his way out of there. Um, did he get traded out, or did he sign out? I forget what happened. So Toronto's so considered a small market? Yeah. It's a pretty big market. Plus, too. plus, they, nobody wants to play there because of their taxes. Yeah. Mm. The, the transfer, yeah. That's okay. Not, but okay, that's fair. Yeah, Toronto's kind of a problem. Um, I don't know why I thought that wouldn't be a problem, because these guys want their money at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, look... I would say Brooklyn, even though I know they're not a small market, but like... Because they're the Nets. It's not a, no, I know. they're still the Nets. Maybe if it was still the New Jersey Nets, you could make that argument. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like whenever I hear Nets, I think of New Jersey yeah. Nets, and I'm like, even though that's a major market, and I like the New Jersey Nets. Talk to Jay. I know it's a major market. It's even just, as a Sixers fan, I like the New Jersey but Nets. But growing up, like the Nets were never anything. In the nineties, my God! No, they had they, they were had, they, had, they had the Jason Kidd. They had Jason. Yeah, they went to the Carrie finals. Kittles. That was two thousand. They beat the that was two thousand. Nineties, they were yeah. like Kenyon Martin. Yeah, Richard the Nets, Richard yeah. Jefferson. They were. Pa- I don't remember Astro. seeing yeah. the Nets. Yeah. I don't the, think the Nets were on TV in the nineties. Uh, Peja was there. Derek Coleman was there. Kenny Anderson Derek was there. Coleman in the early nineties, they were pretty good. The okay, post ninety four. That's when I think they started to trade. We'll give, I'll give you whatever because it's the Nets. I'm just saying, fuck. but early on, <laughs> when they had those guys, they were good. I mean, who cares? They were. All right. I was trying to make a point, and obviously it wasn't factual. Okay? That's okay. <laughs> Look. It just felt like that way. At, at the end of the day, uh, James Harden is now vying for – it's him and Kyrie now. And I don't, I, before, it would have been Kyrie by a landslide. I'm not it's so like sure. It's like a whole new disease. I'm not so sure anymore. I don't know who's more hated between these two, but he is catching up by the minute. Yeah. Um, and – the thing is, when he left Brooklyn, and the reason was about Kyrie, he kind of looked like the smart guy because Kyrie was Kyrie, <sighs> and he split, so he kind of got up like, oh, well, at least he understands this guy's an asshole. Then he turns around and does this. <laughs> it's just like so. You know what happened um, is is they are both diseased magnets. Like Kyrie and Harden are both diseased magnets that just repelled each other. Mm-hmm. Like you can't get the disease I mean, from somebody that has that this, disease this, already. That's just that much more disease. It was like the you. same poles on a yeah. on a magnet. Yeah. Where it's just, yeah. And they're like, oh. I don't know. It's funny, though, because you bring that up. I remember when Harden went to Philly, and we said, you know, look who's the smart one now. Yeah. Well, Harden. Harden. And, yeah. and don't but get me maybe wrong. he's the fucking reason. The problem the is were. not. The, he showed, but he showed up and played. He the, at least was on the court. The problem is not the I playing kind of wasn't. part for Harden. The problem is not the playing That's true. part. Yeah. It's what he wants. He thinks he's he thinks something he, that he's he not he's the anymore. Number one. Yeah, he thinks yeah. he should be the number one. He's, he's the never. Number one. Problem is when he's been the number one, he's never won a damn thing as a team. He's, he's never. Let he's never go. led a team to the promised land. You can, if you're the number one, you got to at least be able to get your team to the finals. He's never if, got his team to the finals as the number one. If he let that go, he'd be able to win a title. If he would just admit 
I'm not. I'm, maybe on another team. If he, he, he was okay be being the, the two and the three. Yeah. He can't, I don't even think he can be the two. I think you need him to be the three. I think if Kim and Durant and had stayed together and you got somebody not as good as Kyrie from a tent but close, mm-hmm. I think that team could have won. Yeah. If, say, it was Gobert, say it was him, Durant, and Gobert, I think those three together could have won a title. Somebody like that who complements those two. So you're saying I the only Kim reason it didn't work. But Kyrie, I mean, he, he couldn't Kyrie win a, is a, is a. But he couldn't win a title with, with Durant and Westbrook. I don't think Westbrook. Westbrook plays hard, he doesn't always play. And Westbrook has the same. Do you mental think he's going to find a better two, a better one I think, two than that? I think if he, again him Durant and somebody not named Kyrie, I think yeah. could have gotten it done. Yeah, I mean, I think, Durant is pretty. Durant's amazing. amazing, and if you and and look, Harden's a very he's a Hall of Famer. I'm not saying he's not a great player. I'm just saying individually though. But mm-hmm. they, he doesn't understand the concept of team. Harden. He does Harden, it to his Harden, point. He doesn't understand it, or he doesn't care. It's one or the other. But then sometimes mm-hmm. he goes out there and he has a game like he's Magic Johnson, because he has the talent. But I mean, like sharing the ball. Like he this doesn't is even why, have to score. This is why I compare games. him to Harden Kyrie. is in the fucking ball hog Hall of Fame. The mm. ISO fucking pound the ball to it pops <laughs> on the fucking court and dies like the city of Philadelphia because you we fucking picked you. <laughs> but up. didn't he have some games this year asshole. where he had no scoring and he just rebounded and assisted? Who cares? He's got the ability to be that. Person. He can't play defense. No, he, he's a defensive liability right now. He is. Um, I mean, he can't play defense. And he can't stop partying look, long enough to play basketball. He can still drop golfer. 40. Level. He can still drop look, 40. Every to NBA me, player can drop 40. Yeah, they he, just start chucking them you all. Give him a, you give anybody, well, I wouldn't say any, but you give, there's enough. In of a them, playoff you give, game? You give enough of them a shot. First of all, this year was the first year. They never had this many 30-point scores in league history in one year. So, in terms of offense, all right, but that's But scoring. that's what defense but, is. Yeah. I know. But Harden saying, is like when a bug flies in your mouth. You're like, <laughs> get out. I mean, that's what he is. He's that piece of shit stuck on the bottom of your shoe. Just, uh, I guess just the, get the, get out. I guess the the question is so much vitriol. Is who who out there would want Harden on their team right now? I, I actually want to see Philly keep him and let him play fat as fuck and just watch him get booed for a little bit. <laughs> you know that like, would be a great punishment because if Philly fans, oh yeah, just. That'd just, be a fair punishment. Just run around. Just run <laughs> no, around. No, we're not going to trade you. Do you think that's a realistic option? No. I can't. think he can control him. Like what I was reading today, if they want to control he him. Threw this, oh, wait, he throws his temper tantrum to it's force his way out. But it's too late. I love it. To, to your point, I love to see Philly get a pair of nuts and go, you know what? We're not fucking trading. Well, no, we're no. So I'm, and from a principal standpoint, yeah. I get what you're saying about Philly. But from a business, if he you're has, trying to run a business, you can't keep him. You no, I don't want like, him. No, 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 I'm saying get rid of him. He's a disease. Okay, get rid of him. okay. I was just asking um, if you meant But if you wanted to punish him, yeah. oh, baby, let the like, Philly fans have that. <laughs> yeah, imagine him out there. Oh, well, you'd, but, but you'd if you wanted to punish him, you'd be punishing your fans. You would. No, but they would be punishing him more. Yeah. Actually, Philly fans might enjoy this. Like they, they get to tell just him. Just let him go. Going. He just wants to go somewhere else. Just let him go. I don't care where he goes. Just, I mean, just let him go. I mean, just I'm saying, just trade him. Find somebody to Joel's point. Although, and get what you can get. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll just say, look, we'll, we'll eat half his contract. Just take him. Right. Just fucking take him. Take him as an expiring contract. Who you got? We need a couple yeah. bodies just and give some us, picks. Just give us who you don't. Give want. us a couple second couple round picks. Yeah. So just give you. Yeah. Um, Actually, I, th- I think my idea. But who would? Nothing. But who I would, would want go, him? I would go to Minnesota. And who would want him? him? What about L.A.? What if he went to the, the Lakers? Who? Hard. If he went to the Lakers, yeah. like what would I? You I'm saying what? with the Lakers, if you want to make an even trade. I'm saying, give me D'Angelo Russell. Oh god! And, oh, and would wait, that. I'd do that in a heartbeat if, for wait. y'all, but not for but them. Give me yeah. D'Angelo Russell and and um, if you're LA, no, Hakim- I think Hakimura or something. No, no, like no, that. no, no, no. What's the Who's white kid? White kid. White kid. Anthony, and mom. Anthony Davis. If Sorry, you get the white kid. Wait, give me, give What's me D'Angelo Russell and Murray Reeves. 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 Give me Murray Reeves. Listen, no, Austin. That's 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 next to neighbor. <laughs> what, listen, that's Reeves Austin. Damn. Give or me Anthony Davis. Rama. Give me Anthony Davis and D'Angelo Russell. I'll give you Embiid and Harden. Actually, if I'm LA, See, I might do that. Because LeBron, his ego is big Embiid? enough to think. Yeah, I know. You get Embiid, fuck Harden. Oh, I wouldn't give Embiid to the Lakers. I know. I'm saying if I'm but LA, I, I, I would might, do it. LA would do it. I would do it if would I was you, I got news for you. Wait, would you, you, do you get it? more from Phoenix? Would you do it if Phoenix could give you seven fucking first round draft? No, they could give you picks. Huh. We'll, we'll give good you picks. No, no, they gave they gave a bunch away. They, yeah, they, they gave still have away. a ton. 
No, because they had to get Durant. <laughs> yeah. They gave oh, a bunch right. away. I'm thinking, you, no, I'm thinking Utah. No, no, that's the perfect trade. That's Danny the Ainge. perfect trade. Danny, Danny Ainge has got a ton. That's the perfect trade. Danny Ainge has got a ton of. That would be perfect. Take him. No, I don't want the Lakers. Dude, but if you're the Lakers, I think you do that. Are you, do you do it, it if you're the Sixers? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you do. Yeah. Without a doubt, you're getting yeah. D'Angelo Russell and AD. Yeah, yeah. and they're yeah. getting Harden and Embiid. The only tough part is AD just got paid a lot. So did Embiid. Okay. I, I like I like Embiid better. I do well, too. Embiid's younger. I like his that's game the, better. And but that's I don't why like and, his, that's, and that's why you take it because Embiid is better, but Harden is not. <laughs> Harden's not Harden's better than. Uh, the thing is, does Embiid want to go? The same. Does Embiid want to go anywhere with Harden? D'Angelo, right now? <laughs> D- D'Angelo Russell. Embiid and, wants. No I would rather have Harden. D'Angelo Russell as all I'm saying. Yeah, I don't because because he can just be a role player and not. But the but the Lakers the Lakers don't keep him. They flip him. They, oh yeah. yeah, or or yeah, they cuts his contract, whatever. The yeah, fuck. they. Yeah. I think I think he would come and play with LeBron. Though. I think that might make him play. I think it would. You oh, telling God. me? You're telling me you get traded to LeBron's team? Would and it you're make gonna him be like, play I'm gonna defense? Come in fat? Maybe. But LeBron James, he can't. I mean, LeBron's would be like, LeBron's, what the fuck are you doing? LeBron and, and Kevin Durant are probably the two guys that he really can't say he's better than. Definitively. There are a ton of players. I know in the that. League. I know that. But he's won a league MVP. He's done things. Oh, okay? so what? Uh, but I'm saying in his he mind, mean, he means in terms of what James what he, Harden. Yeah, thinks. what he thinks. Those two guys, I think he he could be cool with playing second fiddle. I don't think he would with anybody else. I don't think he would. So if I so but if it's one of those two, so, so think yes. about that. If, if Philly trades that, we can flip D'Angelo wherever. Like he's not staying. Or maybe he's, or, or yeah, you see what he can does. Can you be a spot-up shooter? Great, he's whatever, a guy, but, if you're going to flip him, you wait till the trade deadline because somebody will use him at the trade deadline. Yeah. yeah. You'll probably get a lot for him, yeah. too, then, because somebody might be yeah. desperate. Um, so anyways. But, so anyways, yeah. So, but then you still have – what you have back would be AD, Maxi, yeah. Harris. Yeah. Not bad. And draft picks. No. I, hopefully. I, D'Angelo and D'Angelo. Yeah. Yeah, and draft I mean, picks. Right Hopefully. off the bat, it's a great trade for the both. Sixers. It's a great trade for a, both. It's a high risk, high reward for Lakers. Because yeah. we don't know what Harden both. would do. We're speculating yeah. here, but I think given his time in the league, they would find him. In there's a two guys trash that I think he'd, he'd be okay. Outside Durant is one, and club. LeBron is the other. And I think in terms of the Lakers, yeah. I think it speeds up their process. Well, it gives them a. It's a win now. Yeah, their exactly. window is like two exactly. years. Yeah. Probably. Best case scenario, because yeah. LeBron is 38. Send him. But at, Send some, him point, but at some point, LeBron's going to slow down. Right. Um, and I so think they've reached their peak with him and AD. Take, take yeah, I don't think LeBron's going to be as good next year as he was. Take, him and AD no. won their championship. Yeah. They're not going to win another one. Bring Embiid in, maybe it changes. Yeah. Well, it increases the window for LeBron. Yeah. Because Embiid's not in his prime yet, technically. I think it makes it but. so that they're like a legit contender next year. Oh, easily. I felt like they were kind of fringe this I year. I mean, where's the and, put, where's and the he... He matches up better. A little lower he than they were. Embiid, he matches up better with the Joker than, than Anthony Davis does. So we yeah. still need yeah. something else. Back. I mean, if, else back. if you do that, the the Sixers could be. See, I just can't see Sixers Philly. Sixers could drop see, below Philly the Philly and L.A. are rivals, too. I can't see Philly going to them when they go to Utah and get a ton of fucking Maybe first rivals, but different conferences. I know, but still, they're not going to give. They'd rather give it to Utah because they can still from a from Utah's from a not doing form. that deal. But getting why Anthony wouldn't Utah get? Why wouldn't Utah take Joel Embiid? Getting because Anthony Joel Davis Embiid's back. not staying in Utah. He is if they're paying him and they build around. No, him. no, Pay, players get paid in Utah and don't stay. They're not staying in Utah. Malone and Stockton stayed there forever, and they got paid. They were the last ones. Yeah, they were. That's, <laughs> well, they That's tra- a long they time traded, ago. They traded. Well, they haven't been good for a while. They they traded. What was it? They had Gordon Hayward for a while, and they had Donovan Mitchell. They had Gobert, but yeah. I mean, how well, good they had Darren, wasn't it? Darren I mean, Williams, Mike, Conley. Deron Williams was there. They got to the. I'll tell you what, they have a falling had, out when he was there. Had, when he had, was there, they were had, good. They were real good. Had, yeah. Had, yeah. Had, so but he left. He, he left. couldn't keep him. He couldn't keep. Him. But I'm just saying that if you're Philly and you but want to draft picks, that's your. Whether he stays there or not doesn't. I think Joel's right. Joel and B would not want to go. Like yeah, he's because gonna, it's they're probably all doing gonna, that. It's about control. Yeah, it's gonna take. It's exactly like being Damon Lillard saying, "I'll I'll yeah. go to Miami. Only Miami. Well, Nothing else but Miami." We and can like we can. I'll tell you what. This I is wonder a, where he wants to go. <laughs> from a speculation standpoint, let this let this begin. You watch NBA today tomorrow, and all the fucking they'll have twenty fucking possible trade destinations for these two, and they're all gonna be juicy and all this fucking. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be. We'll let this begin because go to is, Lakers. This is the circus that this is yeah. going to start. 
Um, and there's going to be some outrageous ones. Let, let me ask you a question. The ones that we've discussed, have, have any of those been floated? Like, how realistic no. are some of the things this we This just about? happened today. But yeah, I think right now... Or just released it's just, it's just got released today. This I think the whole league's going, what the fuck? Like, this is a total mushroom cloud. Right. So I don't think that anyone's had a chance to react to it yet. Yeah. But and, and, that's coming. And I'm giving... The first Har- thing tomorrow morning. I'm giving Harvey yeah. a ton of shit. Maury deserves a ton of shit. They all deserve a ton of shit. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's all been it's a, an organization. It's been a issue. giant it's an shit organization. Sandwich. Sandwich. There's no one asshole here. It's, it's a sandwich. giant mm-hmm. shit sandwich. So, well, when you have something like the process that's going on for so long and failing for so long, but it's not the process. It is the process. Not anymore. It's some kind of diseased version of. Who it's knows still what. like a piece of the process. It's like they're trying to continue this losing way. That they it's like a dead a finger. It's ago. the end of the dead finger that's decaying. You just hit it. And, and I think it falls that off. what ends up happening is you can't tell when if it was the process that created an asshole or if the person was an asshole coming into the process. You know, no. it's chicken or egg. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. James Harden. Everyone turns into an asshole. Jar- the James process. Harden was an asshole. He was first. He was. Okay, you might be right on that. He one. was first. He he. And again, last and always. Yeah. First, last, and always. Asshole. Yeah. James but Harden. It, Maury had let him do this in Houston. Sorry, James. He's got. You're an so, asshole. Yeah, he's a, Harden's a total asshole. Get a river um, moved. I am loving Suck this because America is seeing this guy for what he really is. Marilyn Manson. No, America. Reference. Yeah. That too. But I mean, America is seeing James Harden really for what he has always been. Now the cat's out of the bag. They've if there was any doubt, yeah, but, but now it's loud. You can't. A blind man can see it. Now. All right. Mark Cuban can see I'm, I'm going to stop talking shit about James Harden. Um, because it's, anyway, we're going to end segment one on that. Um, we'll come back to segment two, talk football. No more Harden. Uh, there is a rivalry in the AFC East that apparently is, uh, is live and well, and I've got two dr- running back signings to prove it. We will see you in just a few moments. We're going to talk to Yoda. Ooh. We're going to talk to Joe Boo. We're going to get Betty in here, that slay little bitch. We're going to get them all in here. Whoa. We're going to get this man to calm down. And we'll be back. NFL preseason. Oh, it's getting juicy. It's getting juicy.